click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see what exactly the oscillator is and how it works and what basically it get differs from amplifier circuit. So let's begin with the topic. We know that in most of the major melt and instrumentation system as well as in electronic components, we require a signal generators. The signal generators are basically used for providing various outputs of the electronic system. So we require a circuit which can produce a signals like sine wave, triangular wave, sawtooth wave, rectangular wave and many more. So the circuits which are used for producing the signal having specified amplitude and specified frequency are called as signal generators which are nothing but oscillators. So oscillator basically an electronic circuit which can provide oscillations at the output that means different signals at the output having some specific frequency and some specific amplitude. Oscillator uses positive feedback. Positive feedback is nothing but the feedback in which output or a part of output is given back to the input in such a way that it is in phase with respect to input signal and therefore increasing it. Such type of feedback are called as positive or regenerative or direct feedback. Because of the positive feedback, the closed loop gain is higher as compared to open loop gain and due to that the circuit becomes unstable. This unstability of the circuit causes production of oscillations at the output. Now let's see how the oscillator is differentiated from amplifier. For that purpose, we need to consider diagram first. Now in the diagram, we will come to know that the amplifier and oscillator both having DC power as input signal. But in case of amplifier, there is an input signal present, whereas in case of oscillator, there is no input signal. Therefore, we can say, Amplifier is a circuit which produces output signal which is amplified version of input signal but having same frequency as input signal or similar waveform as input signal. But the energy level of output is higher in case of amplifier. This high energy level of amplifier output is obtained by using an external DC power supply. So basically Amplifier is a circuit which convert DC power supply into AC signal source having same frequency as the input signal. So if there is no input signal, we cannot get output. That means the output of amplifier can be controlled by using input signal. So if there is no input signal, then no output signal. Whereas in case of oscillator, the DC, as soon as the DC power supply is get turned on, the oscillator starts producing output at the output signal. Therefore, we can say oscillator is a circuit which produces output having constant amplitude or desired amplitude and desired frequency without any input signal. But then how, even if there is no input signal, then how oscillator can produce signal at the output? It is because of the reason oscillator consists of passive as well as active component like it consists of inductor it consists of capacitor and resistor at room temperature these components consist of free electrons so at room temperature these free electrons causes movement so movement of this free electron causes generation of noise signal or noise voltage so whenever the oscillator circuit is get turned on the noise voltage is get amplified by the oscillator and produces signal at the output this noise voltage is not exactly the sine wave and it is very small in amplitude but that is also enough to turn on or to produce output of the oscillator. So we can say oscillator is nothing but amplifier only but it consists of positive feedback and it do not have any input signal. So this is what about the comparison between amplifier and oscillator. Amplifier requires input signal as well as DC power supply whereas oscillator do not require any input signal but it requires power supply. So as long as the power supply or DC power supply is available we can get signal at the output of oscillator. Now let's see the block diagram of oscillator. As we know oscillator do not have any input signal so basically it consists of three element feedback network, amplifier and oscillator circuit. Now we know that oscillator is nothing but amplifier only but without any input signal and it is a, nothing but a feedback amplifier. 
but here feedback used is a positive feedback. So feedback amplifier basically consists of feedback network and amplifier circuit. Now here for generating oscillations we require oscillator circuit which may consist of active or passive element. So the oscillations are produced by using this active and passive element that is nothing but oscillator circuit. These oscillations are nothing but the output. So this output is given back to the amplifier through a feedback network. So amplifier amplifies it and given as output signal to a feedback network. Now feedback network having gain of beta whereas amplifier having gain of A. So in this way without any input signal oscillator can perform oscillations at the output. Due to the positive feedback instability of the circuit is very high because of which we get either sinusoidal or non-sinusoidal oscillations at the output. The feedback network consists of either resistor, capacitor or inductor or combination of this same as the circuit or we can say the same element which consists of oscillator circuit. So this is what about the block diagram of oscillator circuit. It always uses a positive feedback due to which gain of the circuit is very high and that causes oscillations production at the output. So this is what about oscillator and block diagram of oscillator. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.